Wingate's collection of art is impressive and varied. Lithographs, glass bags, wire sculptures, quilts. I assumed it probably would be part of the Bat Center, you know, just a, a wing onto it. So I am just thrilled with this freestanding museum. But the Henson Art Museum needed a signature piece. And former university president Jerry McGee asked for an appears input when finding a cherry to go on top. Who was a North Carolina artist that we, that's a real stretch for us? And she said, oh gosh, of course, Ben Long. Thanks to some ambition and a sizable gift, Wingate has him. On September 24th, the Henson Art Museum will have its dedication, and the latest Ben Long fresco, True Art is to Conceal Art, will be officially unveiled. Relics of the Renaissance, frescoes are rare in the United States. The world's most famous frescoes adorn the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel at the Vatican. It takes time, patience, and a team of artists to complete one, and Long is a master of the art. He learned his craft while apprenticing for seven years with Pietro Anagoni, a noted portrait painter who was also a fresco master. That's, of course, the technique I got to learn because that's what he was doing. Long eventually brought his skills back to the Tar Heel State, painting frescoes in churches in Ashe County. He added pieces in other towns and cities, and his works over the years eventually spawned a cottage industry, the Ben Long Fresco Trail. Wingate's fresco is the tourist attraction's 14th piece. For three weeks this summer, Long and his team turned the Henson Art Museum into their own private workspace, creating a piece of art that's unique to Union County. Each day, his assistants spent hours grinding pigment, mixing plaster, and preparing the wall for Long's arrival. Long then stood or sat for hours on end, painting the lost art-themed mural. The result is a trip through time. Wingate gave Long no thematic parameters. The imagery is from elements in history that have actually happened and uh, have been lost. That includes the burning of the library at Alexandria, the cave paintings of Lescaux, and the resurrection of a lost statue. What Long is trying to say, however, is left up to the individual. I think it should be ambiguous. I mean, that's the best way to see it. It's, uh, I think if you're an optimist, it's going to look better. But some people think that this is a waste of time. So, we have to see. It's impressed everyone who's seen it so far. I'm very thrilled with it. I think it's a, a wonderful kind of a learning experience as you study each part of it. I'm just so excited that our students and Union County community members can see that the fresco technique is here on this campus by one of the greatest living fresco artists.